the introduction of the Rived for the great book of making. We are in the 19th path and it's called the wisdom of the secret of all the spiritual actions. And it's called so because that because of the fact that the bounty that is spreading in it is coming from the top pool and the great honor. Again, the 19th path is called Sechel, a mind of the Sod, of the secret, of all the spiritual actions. Hapeulot haruchaniot kulam. And it's called so because that the bounty that is spreading in it is coming from the top pool and the great honor. So the great honor means a covering. The light is covering itself and is being shown to us. That's the metaphor of honor and clothing. So Hashem is presenting himself in a covering that is coming from the topest pool, from the highest place of them all. A pool is a sign for bounty, a great source of bounty, the upper one. And the bounty that is spreading to all the spiritual actions means to all the possibilities of people to become spiritual and to enjoy spirituality is coming in a secret and mysterious hidden way. And that's why the 19th path is a path that is called the secret of all the spiritual actions. The 20th section is called the mind of the will. And it's called so because it is the quality of all the creations, all of them. And in that wisdom, through using that wisdom, a person can know all the existence of ancient wisdom. The wisdom, the mind of the wisdom, the 20th path, is a mind, is an ability of truth seekers to connect themselves to Hashem through the mind of the will through wanting, desiring, hoping. And it's called so, the mind of the will, because that it is the quality of all creations. Means it's the nature of all creations. The lion, he wants A. The tiger, he wants B. The porcupine, he wants C. Everyone wants something else and therefore they are what they are. So that is their quality. That is their nature. And in that wisdom, a person can know the existence of the ancient wisdom. When he is looking while having eyes that are illuminated in the illumination of the will, that he knows what everything in this creation desires, so then he will understand the upper will, the true intention of the existing ancient wisdom of Hashem. The 21st path is called Sechel Hachefetz Hamevukash, the mind of the desirable object. And it's called so because it is receiving the godly bounty to influence from his own blessing to all the existence, the, to all the ones who are exist. Broken English explaining fantastic Hebrew. 21st path is called the mind of the desirable object. Everyone desires some object, something. And it's called so because it is, that path is, receiving the godly bounty. Means that all the object, objects, they're receiving the godly bounty. Sugar receives its sweetness. 
and its ability to give you the sugar rush, the energy that will push you to do something. The coffee receives something else. Money has different energy. Sofa, walls, computers, the view, the sky, the sun, all of them, they have a godly bounty treasured within them. And they are a desirable need object and they are exist in this world to influence from its blessing the sun will shine the sugar will sweeten to all the existing ones to all the people to all the creations that exist around it it's so amazing let's just continue <laughs>